de Mayo around the corner. So excited. We're gonna do homemade chips, the bunch of dips that go with it. We're also gonna do a shrimp taco, fish taco, and a pulled chicken taco. We also have a tres leches cake for dessert. Most importantly, we're gonna do some amazing palomas. So listen, buckle up, let's get going. Summer's around the corner. I'm ready for some tacos and tequila. So right here I have flour tortillas, spinach tortillas, just regular tortillas you can buy in the grocery store. Nothing special about these at all. And then this is like a jalapeno cheddar. So I'm gonna take a couple of these from each bag. And I'm gonna cut them into chips. Okay, so I'm gonna test my oil with one chip first. If you have a thermometer, you want it to be around like 325 or 350. They're gonna puff up, so the oil is definitely ready. So I'm gonna throw in a few, just be careful. You don't wanna burn yourself, and we're just gonna let these fry. I'm telling you, your friends will like be calling you for every single party they have to just make these chips. So it takes a couple minutes. They're all gonna turn brown, but you want them to be crispy, so you wanna make sure you don't take them out too early. Georgia, I need your help. <laughs> this is my daughter, Georgia, my favorite daughter, my only daughter. Only. Um, can you shut this corn for me so then I can get this Trace Leche cake going? Of course. Thank you. And that is gonna be for the black bean and corn salad. We're gonna grill that after she's peeled it, get a little salt, some lime, and all that good stuff on there. I'll throw it on the grill and then we'll be able to put that salad together. This Trace Leche's cake typically just comes with like a whipped cream and then maybe a little bit of cinnamon or nutmeg, but I'm gonna add a lot of fruit to the top of it just so I feel a little bit better about eating it. So it's kind of like a basic sponge cake. Once it's cool, you poke all these holes in it with a fork and then you pour a mixture of milk, evaporated milk, and sweetened condensed milk. And the cake absorbs all of that milk. I just chopped up some fresh pineapple some strawberries, some gooseberries, and I'm just gonna top it. All right, there you go, Georgia. Thanks, honey. Looks so good. Mm, I'm excited about that. In here, I have my chicken, so it's just skinless, boneless chicken breast. To the chicken that's browning in the pan, once I salt and pepper it, then I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna add my onion, my pepperoncinis, my garlic, and I'm gonna zest two limes and juice them and add that all into the pot. And don't be worried if it sticks or anything like that because you're gonna, it's just gonna all end up falling apart, which is what you want. I'm gonna start with just this bowl of salsa. I'm gonna add this to the chicken along with everything else that I mentioned earlier and then we're just gonna cover it and we're gonna let it simmer for probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, so right here I have about two pounds of shrimp, peeled and veined raw. And to that I'm just gonna add a little bit of avocado oil. This is a basic like rub you would put on pork, chicken, vegetables, fish, whatever. It's good for anything. I'm gonna squeeze a couple limes. And then I'm just gonna toss this around and let it sit. So really what would Cinco de Mayo be without a grilled corn and black bean salad. I'm gonna season this corn, I'm gonna take it out to my grill. Ooh. I'm gonna squeeze some fresh lime. And then once again, I'm just gonna use an all-purpose rub and just sprinkle it on there. Here we have all the dips we're gonna make. I kind of prepped them out so that'd be easier and I can just show you how to finish them all. This is gonna be guacamole. We have a mango salsa, pineapple salsa, and this is gonna be the grilled corn and black bean salad. Okay, onions, quick to help. I'm just gonna use some dried oregano, red wine vinegar, Olive 
oil. And then I'm just gonna mix these around. I'm gonna set them aside and just let them sit. In here I have red onion, cilantro, chopped tomato, and jalapeno pepper. I like a really limey guacamole, and I like I said, I like it to be rough. I don't like it to be mushy. So this is the oil, lime juice, salt, pepper, and lime zest. So that is a chunky guacamole. Okay, so these are the two fruit salsas. Pineapple salsa has orange pepper, red pepper, red onion, cilantro, jalapeno. Mango has exactly the same thing, just the mango is the only difference. I'm gonna use a mixture of lime juice, avocado oil, salt, pepper, and lime zest. All right, so now we're gonna do the black bean and grilled corn salad. Right here I have cucumbers, tomatoes, cilantro, red onion, jalapeno, orange pepper, red pepper, and mango. Here I just made a quick little, kind of like a vinaigrette to go on that with just lime juice, avocado oil, lime zest, and a little bit of cumin. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Black beans, just kind of mix this all around. Cause I wanna break the corn up. All right, Paloma time, I'm ready. So this is a mix, kind of like a limeade and grapefruit juice. I'm gonna pour that into my shaker. And then of course tequila, you can use whatever you want. Like if you like a smoky tequila, use a mezcal. I don't like that at all, so I'm going with the Blanco. with a lime you could finish with like raspberries strawberries herbs are good in here too like a mint would be nice he's ready for a paloma okay so we are testing these mm -hmm. uh -huh. really good and it's perfect so now I'm gonna go on and make my picture once again half up with my grapefruit limeade kind of mix. Oh, nice. Now we're ready. Okay, so here we have some fresh haddock. Oh, looks so good. Nice and thick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coat it with a little bit of egg, then a little flour. I'm just gonna quickly fry it, put it on a platter, cover it with a little salt, pepper, and lime. 